Public access and community media centers like BronxNet contribute to informed and engaged communities and positive social change every day. Pioneers like George Stoney and in the Bronx, the Honorable Fernando Ferrer, recognized early on the importance of independent voices and communities representing themselves, activism and accuracy. The Bronx in particular was misrepresented. BronxNet exists in part to correct those misrepresentations and provide access to you so you can tell your story. Your voice, your views, your vision matters. We can't get anything done in this world that's so interdependent without communication. And certainly um, community-based media is really the core of that. BronxNet has been a staple in my life. It has given me the passion to really look at my home and look at myself and taking ownership of just looking at life and being a part of something greater than yourself. You guys put on such amazing programming, not just about the Bronx, but it's run by and made by people from the Bronx, from our neighborhoods. Community media refers to any form of media created and controlled by the community with the aim of serving that community. BronxNet specifically does an incredible job of making sure that our community is informed on the issues that matter. When we're talking about funding media at large, especially local community-driven and community-focused media, it's critically important because we know that places like the South Bronx are facing all kinds of issues and we have people out there working toward solutions, working toward creating opportunities, but we need our community members to have access to that information. You know, I think it's important to note that when we have good things and positive things going on in the district, everyone don't show up. And I'm talking about the media, but every time we need, BronxNet is here and really trying to make sure that they're displaying positive things to our community. So thank you guys for doing a great job. Enjoy coming on, the, on to BronxNet. Uh, to share with Bronxites uh, what's going on in the world of government. I am the voice of the people of the Bronx, and I will not stop. I want to thank BronxNet for accepting every idea I come with to them, and we are for our people. It's something that is dear to my heart and to home because, I mean, I am from the Boogie Down Bronx, and everybody knows that in the Bronx, uh, our youth and our schools and everything in the Bronx that we get, we have to fight for it. I think it's important for people in our community to be able to get information, information that they would not get from regular television. Congratulations to BronxNet on 30 years, 30 years of real impact work in the community, 30 years of giving folks a real opportunity to do their own media programming, to educate themselves, empower themselves, and to be informed. Who needs Sturdy Rock when you got 441 West? The Bronx needs, deserves, and has the facilities and the ability of its people, of its sons and daughters, that are able to create the same content as anywhere else in the world. We have a world-class group of people in the borough, but now we have a world-class studio to accompany that. I came to BronxNet to learn one thing, which was how to edit. And I learned field production, studio production. I met so many people. and. Then, out of nowhere, my show was born, Morning, and I've been there since. What you've been able to transform this facility to do is really just is breathtaking. It's also refreshing to know that Bronx residents have access to such a high quality center like this. You guys uh, do a great service to the city of New York, to the communities within that city, and really for the entire state of New York. Telling the residents firsthand What's happening out there? We are here to celebrate this 14,000 square foot space that is now the home of BronxNet and the latest venture on BronxNet's community-driven work. For that, we are grateful. We talk about the Bronx. We talk about it being a borough of opportunities, a global destination. We want to make sure that we create access and opportunity for future generations and the pathway to the middle class, creating local jobs, stimulating our economy, giving young people opportunities like internships that will not lead to jobs, but will lead to careers. That's what you're going to find out on BronxNet Television. That's what you're going to find out on any community media center, wherever you live in this great nation. You're going to find local information, a wealth of local information, as well as an invitation to participate. And know that BronxNet is here for you to better yourself, to better your life. BronxNet is your open work.
Your voice, your views, your vision matters. And BronxNet has built multimedia platforms, studios, technologies, as well as channels for you. For you to participate because together we are BronxNet from the Bronx to the world.